Hey there, ex-cult boy back sharing more bizarre facts about the cult that I escaped here in Australia, the Exclusive Brethren, or as they've recently rebranded, the Plymouth Brethren Christian Church. Now, I get some of you asked, what are some of the most bizarre things that um, ever happened in the cult that you look back on now and go, wow. So one of them was, I remember growing up, every Monday we'd have a prayer meeting every Monday night, and where we'd get up and pray for, you know, I don't know, like the leader, you'd pray for sick people, you'd pray for, pray for, I don't know, if there was current issues, you'd pray for them. Now, sometimes when somebody was an apostate, like yours truly, and um, got up and, and I guess I'm being so flippant with that is because I don't, I don't tap into their energy level or their wavelength of thinking. Like it's not what, how, how they think is purely in their head. It's not in mine. I'm not afraid of, you know, the discipline of God or, or whatever else they come up with. To me, that's highly superstitious. And I don't live my life like that. I do not live my life in fear of a pending doom or, you know, um, of something happening to me because I, I'm speaking up for, Victims of abuse? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt I'm going to be punished for that. Um, so when growing up, you'd have these prayer meetings. Now, if somebody like me spoke out like I'm doing now and, and raised awareness about their religion or the awful, horrific things that are happening in there, um, they would call, brand them apostate. And if it was specific to an area or if there was a lot of people doing it, which is happening now globally, there seems to be quite a movement of people coming up and speaking out against them. Um, they would have these organized special meetings, prayer meetings to pray for the death of members, ex-members that were speaking up. So I remember in Western Australia, there was somebody out that was causing trouble, an ex-member. And we used to have prayer meetings to pray for his removal. We'd, they'd even say his name. So it was very specific. And it was also rumored in there that if the leader prayed for your removal, you had 12 months to live. That's how insane. I just like, it was just such an insane reflection to think back on that people actually believed this. And then, so on, on top of that, I've just heard recently on Wednesday nights now in some areas, they are having a prayer meeting prior to the Wednesday night meeting to pray for the removal of those speaking up of us, of me. Um, and what part of this sounds like a healthy, peaceful, mainstream Christian church when you're praying, you're getting, and also it's all men that do this from the moment children pray. So there's little boys in there. Like I used to get up that would get up and pray for the death of ex members. 